My name is Heather. I am a parish director of Faith Formation in Washington, D.C. I serve primarily with adults and some with children and families of the parish. I oversee a robust RCIA process and organize and implement parish Bible study, lectures, missions, retreats, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Growing up, I was a nominal Catholic at best. My family, we were non-practicing. It was not until college when I celebrated my confirmation and first Eucharist. Uh, at the same time, I was studying journalism, preparing for a career in newspaper reporting and editing. Uh, slowly coming to realize, though, that I, while I was good at it, I did not love it. Uh, I was becoming uh, more and more involved in campus ministry, and so on a whim, or what felt like a whim at the time, I changed my major from journalism to religious studies. Uh, the two campus ministers I knew at the time, both lay young adults, uh, put a face on ministry for me, uh, showed me that I could uh, do it too. Uh, so I've, I think, slowly been growing into that call ever since. So nearly 15 years later, I have served in a variety of ministry settings, uh, earned my master's degree in theology. Uh, a number of uh, things helped me, uh, one being uh, growing into an appreciation of my own gifts and my own voice and, and not discounting those. Two, I think striving to maintain a healthy work-life balance. I take my day off. Uh, I do my best not to uh, check my work email from home. Um, uh, I also think uh, re remembering with gratitude positive collaborations that I've had uh, that help me in difficult climates. Uh, I um, am very close with several uh, members of the Oblates of St. Francis de Sales. Uh, I've worked with them, uh, both um, priests and other uh, lay ministers working in their uh, apostolates. So again, remembering those positive collaborations. Uh, also. Uh, spiritual direction uh, has, uh, has helped me, um, and also uh, just uh, not recognizing, I think, my own limitations, uh, accepting that I can't do it all and being okay with that. Um, I think a few things. Uh, one, to be clear about what uh, your own passions are, what your own gifts are, and how those intersect uh, to meet a specific need in the church. Uh, I think talking with people that you trust, uh, for me again, it was, you know, uh, camp campus ministers who were themselves in their early 20s and, you know, at the time uh, showing that, again, putting a face on, on lay ministry, that it's possible for younger people. I mean, again, that was, you know, 15 years ago for me, so. Uh, f was it a straight line? Did you ever get discouraged? Oh, absolutely. Um, I do, I mean, and, and very practical reasons, uh, the discouragement, you know, uh, feeling like I have school loans to pay off and uh, I have rent to pay and I don't have a dual household income. And so I think that has been probably the biggest challenge for me are those very practical things about paying the bills and, and how and how I do that. Um, so uh, what would you say to somebody younger? Uh, carve out a plan to live simply and be okay with that. <laughs>